Welcome everyone back to weekly weather updates. And this evening we're going to be doing an update on the latest on Storm Darcy and the heavy snow we're going to be seeing from this beast from the east pattern. Now I know a lot of people have been quite disappointed today having not seen the heavy snow. Although a lot of people did see some falling snow, uh, a lot of the models um, did underestimate the, the warmth that was still in the earth. Um, I saw one person point out on Twitter earlier that the ground temperature is currently 3 degrees um, from 0 to 10 centimetres um, underground. is 3 degrees, so snow was only ever going to settle uh, in reality when we had very heavy precipitation to overcome that and cool the ground down much faster. So where I am, I saw a lot of light snow today, hours worth of light sort of um, dandruff type snow, many other areas did as well. Um, but didn't really see too much accumulation. It's really where we saw the amber warning, saw the big accumulations. And now this uh, from the Weather Channel is um, radar estimates on snow depth. So assuming all snow that fall, fell out of the sky fell, uh, settled. So you can see where I'm in the London area, which we should have expected maybe um, at least uh, maybe four, five, six centimetres potentially um, of snow. Whereas... Uh, we didn't get that in, in the end, but that's how much really fell out of the sky, but it melted because the ground was still quite mild. However, where areas cooled down a lot quicker because they had heavy precipitation, we saw potentially 20 centimetres of snow quite widely. Um, there were areas in here that saw 17, 18, 19, 20 centimetres of snow, and the snow is still falling, so it's likely to be maybe 20 centimetres plus um, come... Uh, come tomorrow morning as we still have snow showers packing in. I'll show you the radar image in a minute. It's very interesting uh, to say indeed. But you can see further up the country we've had a lot of showers today so we have seen some snowfall accumulations along with that. Um, again it's been quite localised and over higher ground but one good thing I can say is that right now the temperature quite widely is below freezing. Where I am right now, it's minus one degree, and I have snow falling out of the sky, and it is settling, even though it's not particularly heavy. It's no heavier than earlier, but the ground is colder now, um, and it is settling quite readily. And you can see we've had some decent amount of showers today, and that's going to continue. And we'll now have a look at the radar image currently. This is current updated radar, and you can see snow showers packing into the east. Heaviest snow showers really over sort of northern Scotland, as they've got a raw easterly flow. Across uh, Yorkshire, northeast England, seeing some snow showers. Parts of Lincolnshire are starting to see some quite heavy snow showers moving in. And then I'm currently under this sort of streamer. Now, this is the first streamer, that we, like proper streamer, we've seen. Um, and it's sort of a con leftover convection from Storm Darcy, which is now pulling away and still got a bit of snow around in Kent. Now, you can see how far inland this is coming in. It's coming in a northeasterly wind. But if that was an easterly wind, you'd see that it would get all the way potentially over sort of Bath area. If, if there's a raw easterly, and easterly winds are going to be coming more readily over the next couple of days as the wind veers further easterly, especially further southwards. So you can see the snow is getting quite far inland already. And I expect it to get further inland tomorrow. And you can see getting across right towards western areas in, in northern England, southern Scotland. And overnight tonight, the snow will become more widespread in terms of showers. And few areas could see dusting or more potentially where these streamers set up. Other areas, it will just be lamppost watching and maybe a little bit of accumulations. But the good thing that we're seeing right now is with the ground temperatures very cold, dew points very cold, everything falling out of the sky, snow, and it will readily settle um, overnight tonight into tomorrow. And if you do have clear skies, you'll get a frost, and that will mean the ground temperature is as cold. So when you do see the snow in the next couple of days, it will settle, uh, it will settle even better. Um, um, so, yeah, that's... So that's one good positive side, even if you don't see snow over the next couple uh, over over this evening. But it is looking like it's going more widespread. We'll have a look at the snow and ice warnings again. They haven't really changed. The Met Office hasn't updated them. I'm expecting them to update them probably tomorrow morning. Looking at the potential maybe putting amber warnings in for um, snow showers and streamers. Currently still got the amber warning in force. The amber warning did really well, as you saw in the Weather Channel image. Only exception is probably around the Norwich area. Really didn't see a lot of snow. Unfortunately, it got really held up um, further southwards. Ipswich saw a lot of snow. Um, I know there's seen 15 centimetres there. Parts of North Kent saw 17 centimetres currently. And some coastal areas. I think it's uh, Felixstowe, 
um, I think I missed it, somewhere in there, I uh, saw that, we've got 18 centimetres, so yeah, heavy snow there, again, in the yellow, yellow warning was generally decent, a lot of areas in the yellow warning did see some snow, but again, didn't settle unfortunately, and the snow totals, again, by the models, were quite inaccurate, it's very difficult to forecast snow, and they were inaccurate, simply because the ground temperature was too mild, if we didn't, if we had an overnight frost last night instead of heavy rain, um, I suspect the, uh, uh, I suspect the snow would have readily settled and we could have seen a few centimetres here or there in that yellow warning zone. So yeah, just unfortunate really. If we run through the days, very similar warnings on the east coast. Again, could move further westwards where we do have um, where we do have banding together. Again, it's going to be very now cast situation, especially the Met Office will issue warnings perhaps only 6 to 12 hours in advance. So it's just really one to watch at the moment. Again, same warnings on Wednesday. So yeah, really just one to watch. Um... And even if you were not in these yellow warning zones, does not mean you will not see snow. Quite likely you will see snow, just not, uh, they're just, Met Office is just not expecting um, very significant accumulations from it. We'll now run through some of the models to see what they are showing in the longer or the short term mid range. Um, so the GFS again showing big extensive showers. Maybe overdoing it a little bit, but you can see generally it's getting the areas quite well at, uh, at the moment, considering what we have at the radar, and it is getting further inland. And as we have through Tuesday again, a lot of snow showers around, same sort of uh, snow shower potential. And then into Tuesday, there's potential for some snow in the southwest. Again, difficult to model that. Um, uh, we'll have a look at some other models, see if they're showing that same pattern. And as you head through Wednesday, a lot of showers still around. They start to die away as high pressure builds in before we have Atlantic fronts running into the uh, cold air and that could produce a big snow event for southwestern areas and western areas um, uh, because it's coming up against the block and then we go a lot uh, we go high pressure dominated before easterly winds return uh, on this current GFS run with heavy snow potential with that again that is just one GFS run in the longer term wouldn't take it too literally at the moment only really look at maybe Friday but it's looking like it will settle down towards the end of next week after a potential snow event with weather fronts pushing into that cold rail so it'll be very interesting to see what happens with that we'll run through the GM, I won't, oh, sorry, I won't show you the GFS snow depths because I know some people do take those literally and again as I've said they are just estimates and it's uh, and some people did get disappointed because it did show parts of East Anglia where we saw very limited snow today, seeing maybe 10 centimetres, when in fact the, the snow shift was slightly off and the ground was a bit too mild. So yeah, I, I won't be showing those unless we do see a, a more clear-cut snow event. Um, I won't be showing those uh, in the next couple of videos at least. So we'll run through the GM. You can see still a lot of showers com coming in. You see some decent streamers there. Um, quite a few streamers, the Thames streamer potentially on Tuesday, interesting, but a lot of streamers across the Midlands, Northern England, even getting quite far west in, towards Wales, Northwest England, one through Scotland as well, so quite a lot of streamers with this. The GM doesn't really show that snow event but in the southwest, but does show more uh, snow showers through there. And as we head through Thursday, the GEM is a lot more progressive, well it's not too much progressive with that um, snow event, very similar pattern to the GFS, but it brings in another weather front, which is a more progressive, and gives an absolute dumping of snow to most of the country. It does provide some milder airs for the south, but towards the longer term, it goes drier and colder again as high pressure tries to build in, and you can see how that weather front is stalling a bit as it's coming up against higher pressure. But the GM run does not go along with the GFS and does um, does pull that. Um, it does pull low pressure in off the Atlantic. We'll have a look at ICON, which is a more high resolution model. It doesn't show the streamers too well coming in land, as you can see right now. It's showing not much coming in land, but a lot more is coming in land. So yeah, just generally looking at what, what snow potential. And so you see tomorrow a lot of snow coming in land, even on the ICON, which has been quite sceptical with that. And then we have the potential snow event in the southwest. Again, that might be tantalizingly close, but again it's really one to watch we'll see if the Met Office issues any warnings for that and then as we run through you see still a load of snow showers around before weather fronts gather in the Atlantic and potentially again very similar pattern showing this uh, the weather front stalling over western areas so western areas could see a lot of snow from this very interesting to see with that 
We'll now run through the uh, Arome model. Unfortunately, the Arome model, as it's French, it only shows uh, it's only showing um, northern parts of France, and it goes into southern England uh, and Ireland and Wales. So, unfortunately, we can't see Scotland. Um, so, yeah. We'll, we'll have a look at the WRF in a minute, which shows better. And you can see at the moment it is undoing the snow potentials um, showers. So again, you see that the sort of streamers that I'm, I'm under right now, you can see that streamer modelled there. It is quite narrow, the streamer. Um, but again, it is providing a decent covering where I am right now. Decent snowfall coming out of the sky. And you can see these streamers maintain. And then, especially over North Midlands, Lincolnshire could see a decent snow showers moving in, even getting to the western areas, and again, these streamers maintain. And again, the Arome does look like it's overdoing it compared to what the current radar is showing. And again, snow showers coming into southwestern areas, and that's maybe more persistent snow, but again, widespread snow, especially into East Anglia, Northeast England, Southeast England as well. Some areas, even though they haven't seen the heavy snow today, could be seeing quite a lot of snow just simply from these streamers. We'll now run through the WRF, um, which shows the snow showers right now this afternoon. Again, it's not showing them too well. Um, you can see it's not showing too many snow showers where I'm seeing these streamers right now. It's showing a little bit, but not too well. So you always have to take this with, this with a pinch of salt. And you can see going much further inland and then setting up streamers tomorrow morning. One potentially across East Anglia towards the southwest again. It could move, but that's what it's looking like at the moment. And then more streamers across... Uh, Midlands, uh, Northern England, into Scotland could see some big streamers, and again, a lot of light snowfall and showers moving into the southeast. As temperatures cool down, even light snow could give some areas some decent snowfall. So yeah, that's one to watch. Um, even if you're not under a stream, you could still see some decent snowfall around. As we head through, right towards the end of the run, so that's early Tuesday, you can see more streams and snow showers around. Again, all the models showing similar patterns, Dis uh, slightly disagreeing on exact positions of the streamers, so it's going to be very difficult to pin down exactly where they are. There'll be more of a now car situation, so I'll keep you all updated on that uh, for now. But it's looking bitterly cold out there, so again, don't be disheartened if you haven't got heavy snow at the moment. Most areas will be seeing some snowfall, and with the ground cooling down, it does look like that most snow will begin to settle, at least on grassy surfaces, um, uh, and over cars, and you met, will be able to hopefully, many people will hopefully be able to build snowmen, etc. So yeah. Anyway, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed subscribing to you, and I'll see you again um, for another video uh, tomorrow.